Ahead of vision. There's a storm coming. We have an emergency. The cloud approaching Defiance is a razor rainstorm. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to tell you about my thoughts and opinions on Sci-Fi's original television series by the name of Defiance. I'm going to review episode 7 called Goodbye Blue Sky. And without any further ado, let's go and get to it, shall we? So as we know, uh, pretty much what's going on in episode 7 on Sci-Fi's Defiance is we have Razor Rain that is coming across the city of Defiance. And pretty much at Razor Rain, it's literally like these really sharp, they look like shards of glass or like some shards of crystal, and they come down in almost the form of comets, and it's it's like a pretty much a huge a rainstorm is coming down across the town of Defiance, and in this episode, the entire city of Defiance is trying to prepare themselves for this razor rainstorm. That's pretty much the main plot. Of course, as always, Defiance on Sci-Fi, uh, the television series, has other subplots going on also. We also have our character of Arissa, you know, our Irathian's girl. She is experiencing more visions than ever before. She has a vision about the character of Zucar, and I'm going to get a little bit of minor spoilers here. In her vision, she sees Zucar's death, and the way Zucar dies in the vision is by the razor range of the Shard of Crystal going straight through his neck and blood is everywhere. So she has a vision about that. So because of this vision, Arissa goes out to where the Irathian alien race lives, uh, to the Badlands, and she pretty much tries to help them out. She, she like, they undergo this ritual or a ceremony of some kind, uh, so that way he can heal himself, uh, so, you know, he won't be affected, uh. Just so you guys know, I did miss about 10 minutes of this episode, so if my review is a little off, my plot points are a little off of what actually happened, that's why, because my satellite was cut off for about 10-15 minutes, so I missed, you know, a good 10 minutes of the first uh, chunk of the episode. But after that, I saw everything else, and I have a pretty good idea of what actually happened in the episode. Uh, and of course, we have other things going on, such as uh, the relationship between our uh, Castrothin uh, boy and then the human uh, girl. Uh, they're having they're having some problems because uh, the girl doesn't want to participate in the Castian uh, bath. Everyone has to get naked in the bath together, and it's sort of a Castian ritual that always that they always go through. Well, this uh, human girl does not want to go through that, so they're having some, I guess you could say, some romantic drama uh, between their relationship. Uh, and also in this episode, Mayor Nikolai, I believe is her name, uh, Nikolai goes to stay in the house of uh, the Macaulay family. And the reason she goes there is because she suspects that, uh, I, I forget the guy's name, uh, I think Birch or, Birch or something like that. She suspects that uh, one of her, the, her, the guy, you know, the guy with the sunglasses, she suspects that Macaulay or somebody in that house you know, killed him. So she goes there to stay there, and uh, and she also wants to, you know, get the artifact. Uh, little does, you know, little does, you know, the Macaulay father realize that, you know, his son is actually one who has the artifact, and, you know, Macaulay's son keeps seeing, you know, the, you know, the ghost of Luke, you know, and it's, you know, kind of a psychological hallucination he's experiencing, and he keeps seeing Luke, and Luke keeps telling him, you know, do this, he told, he's the one, and, you know, told him to kill him, and that's why he's, like, you know, buried up under the, you know, up under the mines, and, uh, and now he still has the artifact, while his father doesn't actually know that he has the artifact, and Nikolai came to stay there during the Razor Rain storm to actually find out, uh, what's going on. That's pretty much the main plot and all the little other stuff going on, and episode 7 titled Good Blood Blue Sky, for the sci-fi original television series by the name of Defiance. Overall, my thoughts and opinions on sci-fi's episode 7 of Defiance, this was an amazing episode. I was actually brought to tears at least once in this episode. The acting in this episode was just downright phenomenal. You know, at the core, Defiance is a sci-fi, you know, a science fiction series, but it also has great drama elements. We have a relationship going on between, you know, Joshua Nolan and the, you know, the Arissa, Arissa you know, the Irathian daughter of his, and I just really like that relationship. There's a few times in this episode where they're, like, like yelling at each other. He has to side you know, to either shoot her in this episode or to help her out because in this episode they greatly expand on the concept of the show because this series has been setting up 
for her to be some messiah or to some angel of death character. And the series is setting up for that, it seems like. Uh, and in this episode, Zucar believes that, you know, the Irathian's god is telling him to uh, go to Defiant and set off like a satellite signal. Uh, that way the ship will, de will destroy Defiance. Uh, but actually, little does Zucar know, when he turns the satellite signal, the ship actually makes it uh, go to a different course and crash lands to a different place, so that the Irathian god was actually wanting him to save Defiance, because apparently the, the Irathian god has a big uh, destiny and a big prophecy overall for the city of Defiance. And in this episode... Uh, you know, Joshua Nolan and, you know, the doctor explained that it's just tiny robots that were healing him. A little do they know, it's, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's actually an Irathian god and it's building up to this, you know, messiah or angel of death prophecy or something like that. And Arissa seems to be the sort of messiah character that they are actually talking about. Uh, so it's really cool, the great concept it's building on. And I just love the relationship between both Joshua Nolan and Larissa, you know, no, you know, Joshua Nolan's character, he's having a really hard time, you know, coping with this, you know, Irathian god and the alien race and stuff, and Larissa is starting to believe all these things, but, it, you know, it's hard for her to convince Nolan of, of these things, and I just like that, you know, 50-50 relationship between them, both great actors, I don't know their names, but I love both of the characters, uh, you know, Daytalk, I wasn't, wasn't in this episode really at all, uh, but he's also one of my favorite characters from the series. Uh, but I really enjoyed uh, Arissa. Just Arissa, just the, you know, it was really cool concept, you know, her having these visions, you know, of something that was getting ready to happen. And she had to go out to the Badlands, you know, that way it wouldn't happen. And then at the end of the episode, she gets extremely mad. Great acting scene, by the way. Whenever jo Nolan kills Zucar, uh and they find, and you find out that Zucar was actually trying to save the city of Defiance. Little did he even know. So that was just another great concept. Uh, and I just love, you know, the relationship between those two characters. I mean, the interact, every uh, character interaction in this episode was just great overall. Anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on episode seven by the name of Goodbye Blue Sky for the sci-fi original television series by the name of Defiance. Next week's episode is episode eight titled I Just Wasn't Made for These Times, and it comes on, as always, every Monday night, uh, 8 o'clock Central and 9 o'clock for everyone else, I believe. Uh, once again, thanks for watching another video oh, by Simpy Geek for my uh, review of the sci-fi original television series by the name of Defiance for episode 7 titled Goodbye Blue Sky. Once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later. More videos by Simpy Geek.